let's take a look at the time value of money. In business, another common way of calculating interest is by using a method known as compounding or compound interest, in which interest calculation is applied a number of times during a term of a loan or investment. Compound interest yields considerably higher interest than simple interest does because the investor is earning interest on interest. With compound interest, the interest earned for each period is reinvested or added to the previous principal before the next calculation or compounding occurs. For example, $100 invested at 8% interest is worth $108 after the first year, $100 in principal and $8 in interest. If the interest is not withdrawn, the interest for the next period will be calculated based on the $108 principal. As this compounding process repeats itself each period, the principal keeps growing by the amount of the previous interest. As the number of compounding periods increases, the amount of interest earned grows dramatically, especially when compared with simple interest. If you were owed $1,000, would you rather have it now or one year from now? If you answered now, you already have a feeling for the concept. The time value of money is the idea that money now or in the present is more desirable than the same amount of money in the future. Money now or in the present is more desirable than the same amount of money in the future because it can be invested and earn interest as time goes by. The compound amount, or future value, also called FV, is the total amount of principal and accumulated interest at the end of a loan or an investment. Present amount, or present value, also called PV, is an amount of money that must be deposited today at compound interest to provide a specified lump sum of money in the future. You can learn to calculate the compound amount future value of an investment at compound interest when the present amount present value is known. You also learn to calculate the present value that must be deposited now at compound interest to yield a known future amount. Compound interest that is applied a number of times during a term of a loan or an investment. It's interest paid on principal and previously earned interest. To manually calculate the compound amount or future value of an investment, we must compound or calculate the interest as many times as there are compounding periods at the interest rate per period. For example, if an investment made 5 years at 6% compound annually, once per year, would have 5 compounding periods, 5 years times 1 period per year, each at 6%. If the same investment was compounded semi-annually, 2 times per year, there would be 10 compounding periods, 5 years times 2 periods each year, each at 3%, 6% the annual rate, divided by 2 periods each year. The amount of compound interest is calculated by subtracting the principal from the compound amount. So compound interest equals compound amount minus principal. Here's an example. Katie Tarada invested $20,000 in a passbook savings account at 5% interest compounded annually for two years. Manually calculate the compound amount of the investment and the total amount of compound interest Katie earned. Step 1. Apply the simple interest formula twice. The original principal is $20,000. So interest for period 1 is 20,000 times 0 0.05 times 1, which equals $1,000. The principal for period 2 is 20,000 plus 1,000 equals $21,000. We'll continue step 1 by calculating the interest for period 2 as $21,000 times 0 0.05 times 1, which equals $1,050. So our compound amount is $21,000 plus $1,050 to give us a total of $22,050. The compound interest earned equals $22,050 minus $20,000 for a total of $2,050. In describing investments and loans, the advertised or stated interest rate is known as the annual or nominal rate. The greater the number of compounding periods per year, the higher the amount of interest earned. Consider what happens to an investment of $100 at 12% nominal interest. 
although the nominal interest rate is 12%, with monthly compounding, the $100 earns more than 12%. This is why many investment officers today advise daily or continuous compounding. Here's how these investments are really working. The annual percentage yield or APY or effective rate reflects the real rate of return on an investment. APY is calculated by finding the total compound interest earned in one year and dividing it by the principal. This is actually the simple interest formula solved for rate R equals I divided by PT, where T is equal to 1. So annual percentage, or APY, is equal to total compound interest earned in one year divided by principal. We can see that the annual percentage yield is the same as the nominal rate when interest is compounded annually. However, it jumps to 12.36%, $12.36 when the compounding is changed to semi-annually, and 12.68% $12.68 when compounded monthly. If your calculator has an exponential function key yx, you can calculate the compound amount of an investment by using the compound interest formula. The compound interest formula states a equals p times 1 plus i to the nth power, where a is the compound amount, P is principal, I is the interest rate per period, and N is the total compounding periods. Here are the steps for calculating the future value. Step 1. Add the 1 and the interest rate per period. Step 2. Raise the sum from step 1 to the nth power, the number of compounding periods, by using the YX key on your calculator. Step 3. Multiply the principal P by the answer from step 2. Here's an example. Use the compound interest formula to calculate the compound amount of $5,000 invested at 10% interest compounded semi-annually for three years. Step 1. Using the compound interest formula, first add the 1 and the interest rate per period, as you see here. It's important to solve the formula using the sequence of steps outlined above. Note that the rate per period, i, is 5%. 10% divided by 2 periods per year. The total number of periods, the exponent is n, which is 6, 3 years, times 2 periods per year. Step 2. Raise the sum from step 1 to the nth power. Step 3. Multiply the principal p by the answer from step 2. So a will equal $6,700.48. Present amount, or present value, PV, is an amount of money that must be deposited today at compound interest to provide a specified lump sum of money in the future. When a future value, an amount needed in the future, is known, the present value is the amount that must be invested today to accumulate with compound interest to that future value. For example, if a corporation wants $100,000 in 5 years, a known future value, to replace its fleet of trucks, what amount must be invested today, the present value or unknown, at 8% compounded quarterly to achieve this goal? Just as there are compound interest tables to aid in the calculation of compound interest amounts, present value tables can help calculate the present value of a known or future amount. If your calculator has an exponential function key, like yx, you can calculate the present value of an investment by using the present value formula. The present value formula states PV equals A over 1 plus I to the nth power. That's where PV equals present value, A equals the compound amount, I equals interest rate per period, expressed as a decimal, and N equals the total compounding periods, years times period per year. Here are the steps to calculating present value. Step 1. Add the 1 and the interest rate per period. Step 2. Raise the sum from step 1 to the nth power by using the YX key on your calculator. Step 3. Divide the compound amount A by the answer from step 2. So let's take a look at an example. Use the present value formula to calculate the present value of $3,000 if the interest rate is 8% compounded quarterly for 6 years. Step 1. Using the present value formula, first add 1 and the interest rate per period. Step 2. Raise the sum from step 1 to the nth power, as you see here. 
Step 3. Divide the compound amount A by the answer from step 2. That gives us a present value of $1,865.16.